Maths can be notoriously hard at GCSE for some students and gets even harder at A-level, but then others find it easy to get grades 8 to 9. So in this video, I'll be uncovering the secrets of the maths brainiacs and declassifying how even those who find maths difficult can get very high grades. This video will be all in timestamps linked in the description below, so feel free to skip around to sections that suit you most. Maths is definitely one of those subjects at GCSE which is notoriously hard, but for some students, once you crack a code, it gets much easier and you can do much better in a shorter amount of time. And in this video, I'll be covering the four step simple method that I used in year 11, that I coined the lame method. And it has four simple steps and these are learn, apply, master and exam. I'll be covering all the resources I used for each section and how to attempt maths revision to, in order to maximize your chances to get a grade nine. So the first part of the video will be all about learn. So learn is the first part of the lame method. And it's basically your baseline that you have to get and do really well in, in order to go over to the other stuff and improve with questions and stuff. So what normally happens at maths GCSE level is teachers often make you write down notes from the board. So what they'll do is they write down the theory that you've just been practicing for the topic or that you're going to cover for the next topic and then some worked examples that you're supposed to copy down. And while this can be useful for some people, for me, I always found it a really passive way to take notes and just revise because the teacher would normally do the question themselves and then you just copy it down. So for most people, they end up copying the notes down rather than actually understanding what they're copying down. That's why what the first thing you need to do for this learn part of the method is to consolidate your information that you learned back in your lesson immediately when you come home. So basically what this allows for is even if you spend 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes on just consolidating what you learned in class, it'll allow you to have a better baseline to start doing more questions when you come home. So for example, if you have a maths homework and it normally takes you around 20 to 30 minutes, then what you should do is spend 20 to 30 minutes before that doing the homework, doing just covering how to do it using videos online, etc and then do the homework and you'll see it massively helps you out. It's a lot of people say they don't have enough time when they come home or like they're really tired or... So what I say to that is for GCSE, if you can start doing it and coming home and consolidating your information, you'll have a really good base at A-level because A-level in sixth form of college, you're normally sp like expected to just come home and go over your notes and just consolidate the information because there's so much you have to cover. And even if you do 15 minutes, like minimum, that's still sometimes enough to consolidate your information that you learned in class, especially if it's an easier topic. So I've been mentioning watching YouTubers and like, that's really useful for GCSE maths. I did this exclusively. And essentially the top two that I watched were Corbett Maths and GCSE Maths Tutor. Those were the mainly only two sometimes I watched to get myself a good grade. And it definitely allows you to get a grade seven, eight or nine if you use their extra resources, which I'll be covering in the apply method. And they have everything, every topic you can possibly imagine that comes up in GCSE maths. And sometimes it's organized by exam board. So they're making life much easier when it comes to covering topics when you come back home. So this is the next section of the lame method. And this is to apply your knowledge. So basically applying your knowledge is doing questions for maths. Literally all you have to do for maths to get a really good grade, even to get just a seven, is do questions. Questions will immensely make your life much easier and allow you to actually understand what you're doing as you do them. And the YouTubers I was just talking about before, Corbett Maths and GCSE Maths Tutor, they have so many practice questions online. And especially one thing I advise for you guys is not to do maths exam, full exam papers straight away. Or if you can, that's good, but something better to do is probably focus on doing topic questions. So topic questions you can find in Corbett Maths, GCSE Maths Tutor, and they're organized by topic and they really allow you to just cover that topic in detail rather than focusing on an entire paper. So yeah, use those resources I just mentioned. And as well as that, if you find those are too easy for you, then move on to some harder ones in your textbook or ask your teachers for some resources in class that link to what they teach you in lesson. And basically doing practice questions will allow you to understand what the hell is actually going on with those weird X plus Y to the power of two divided by three equations and how the maths people get like answers of zero when it really doesn't make sense. So when you start doing questions, we'll actually understand how to apply your method. And if you wanna just go over and do that little bit more, when you mark your questions, try and write down what you did wrong instead of just crossing them out. Write down or rub out what you did wrong and rewrite it in a different color pen. That means when you come back to that exam paper or whenever, if you just refer to that question again, you'll be able to see where you went wrong, how to improve, 
and how you improve from last time. For me, the application step is definitely the simplest and easiest step of the lay method because learning you actually have to try and like see what you're doing and learn the equations or whatever. But for the apply method, it's just all about churning out questions as many as you can and it really helps. So this next section is mastery. So master or just mastering what you're doing is super important if you want to get a grade eight or nine and a high grade eight or nine. And it literally allows you to focus on your weaknesses and go over the things that you find most difficult. And that basically targets what's left of the things you got wrong and just allows you to get the highest grade possible in your maths exams. So that's why this section is all about relearning, processing your mistakes, seeing where you went wrong and redoing questions and just until you get them right. And asking for help is one of the main things that you need to understand to do in the mastery method. Not a lot of people do this, but if you don't understand something, don't be ashamed to go to your teacher and ask for help. And then the other thing is, please don't throw away your past papers when you're done with them. Those marked past papers you have, I fully guarantee you keep them in like a box or whatever, just to like refer back to, like I said before in the apply method, you really need to sometimes refer back to questions that you didn't understand before. So that's why I say not to burn any of your maths resources or GCSE resources, even the exam papers you do until the end of your last exam. And then the last section of this like mastery area, and it's like a bonus tip that you guys should try and get if you can, is to buy that grade eight or grade nine CGP workbook they have. I'll put a picture on the screen now, but essentially that workbook is so useful. I use that for my GCSE maths exams and it helped me out so much. So this is the last part of the lame technique. And I love that term, the lame technique. It sounds really dead, but like still. It's a term I coined myself and all, but the last step of it is exam or exam technique. And this is all about just focusing on when you're actually doing the papers to ensure that you don't make silly mistakes. It's something that a lot of people do is, even if you do the L, A and M methods, learning, applying and mastery, sometimes when you're doing exam papers, that feeling the adrenaline and just doing them and the feeling of rushing, it overwhelms you and you end up missing really easy marks and you end up freezing in the exam paper, which I definitely don't want that to happen to you guys. So this is why this is maybe, maybe even the most important step out of them all, even after mastery. Yeah, so the first tip in this section is if you can't do, if you, if you come across a question and it's like, it's, been two minutes and you still haven't understood what you have to do, move on, literally. Move on as fast as you can, go on to other questions, because I know people that are really good at math and they've spent way too long focusing on questions that they didn't fully understand and they missed out so many easy marks at the end of the paper or in the middle of the paper. That's why what I say is, if you don't understand the question, fold the corner of that paper or make a little mark that you can recognize when skipping through the paper again and just do that instead of focusing on that question and then losing out time for the easier questions maybe later on. So the last tip isn't really like an exam technique tip. It's more like, I know everyone's gonna do this. When you have exam papers, you normally look through your textbook and you're like, yeah, let's try and get that last minute counting session. Everyone does that and people who don't, who say they don't try and like get a last bit of information in are definitely lying to you. So what I mean by that is literally when you've, let's say before the exam, GCSE exam, the actual GCSE maths exam, if you've just learned an equation that your friends told you is going to come up and you know you can use it, but you just forgot about it, what you should do is like focus, give it a minute or two and wherever you can on a blank area of the paper, write down that equation so that when you come back to it, you can skip to that area and use that equation again. Thanks so, so much for watching this video. And I really hope the lay method works out for you guys as well as it did for me. And I know most of you watching this video probably find maths hard, just like I did when I was at GCSE. Maths has never been one of my strong suits, but using this lay method definitely helped me out and allowed me to get a much higher grade than I ever thought was possible. And it also allowed me to jump like three, four grades maximum. It was great. Yeah, hope that video was enjoyable for you guys and you learned something and that the lame method works. And if you did enjoy the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to support the channel. And let me know any more video ideas you'd like to see that I'll try and upload in the coming weeks. And yeah, just thanks so much for watching. I really hope all that people watching this video do really well in their exams and I know you will using this method effectively so yeah good luck with that it's good luck with any exams you have coming up any mocks or whatever for year 11 or any GCSE exams when it comes to that in the future and yeah thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video bye for now